Okay, number two. So keep this equation A in mind. Number two, what if you're losing mass? Well, the biggest thing that's going to happen is dm over dt will become negative. So that means I can rewrite equation A from above can be rewritten as f external equals m dv over dt minus dm over dt v of r, which in most textbooks, you will see it written as this, m v dot minus m v r. And what they will define is this portion, and they will call this the thrust. And what they will say is that this thrust is opposite to the direction of motion of the rocket. Okay, now there are two cases when we can talk about this. So the two situations that we will talk about. One is when F external equals zero. What happens? And when F external is not equal zero. We'll talk about that later. Okay. So when F external is zero, what will happen to this equation? Zero equals mv dot minus m dot vr or m dv over dt equals minus, no, plus dm over dt vr. Can dt's go away? Will I have m dv dm vr? Is vr a value? It's just, a, it's just a number, right? It's just a number. You can't integrate it. You can't do it. It's like a constant. It'll come out of integration. Now, may I then integrate and integrate over dm and v? The reason why it's important to recognize that vr is just a number is because if it wasn't, what would we have to do? To move it to the other side and we have to integrate it with the V, but we can't. Okay, so imagine my thing is my rocket. Oh, I'm gonna try a rocket. <laughs> Can I make a rocket? Ooh, oh, that's, that's a thick rocket. rocket. Yeah. It's like a fire cracker. It's a firecracker, good. Okay, that's what it is. Don't tell anyone. What will be the limits of integration? Suppose I just do V zero, some V zero to some V, right? And for mass, I'm gonna do some M zero to whatever mass is at time T. Now, what will this M zero include? It will include the mass of my rocket plus mass of my fuel, right? And M of T is mass at any time T, whatever time I'm looking for. If I say five seconds, put five seconds and you're done. And what is VR? The relative velocity, right? Of the rocket to now the ejected mass. Do you get it? VR is now the relative velocity of how fast your rocket is going to the mass that is being ejected. So if the rocket is going up, the ejected mass is going down. So it's still the same, U minus V. It's just that now we have con contextually changed it. Okay, so then may I move this M over to the other side? Why do I have to do that? Because I am integrating over M and M is a function of time. So I can't ignore that. So what will I get? integration of dv v0 to v integral of 1 over m dm vr is a constant so i'm going to take it out v minus v0 
integration of one over m log of m over m zero. Or I can write v as a function of time equals v zero plus vr log of m over m zero, where m is the mass at any time t, m zero is the original mass that we had. Got it? So that's one solution. Now, what you will see is textbooks will sometimes ask you to find m as a function of time. And that is called a rocket equation. So let's develop that. Let's start from this equation that we have. May I rewrite this as V minus V zero divided by VR equals log of M over M zero. Mm -hmm. Can I call V minus V zero delta V? How do I get rid of log? Yeah? Ta -da. That's called a rocket equation. Two steps. <laughs> Where delta V is change in velocity, VR is relative velocity of what? The rocket to the exhaust gases. And uh, M0 is what? Mass of the rocket plus mass of the fuel. 